Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com. Now, one of the great things you can get out of a film study is color. And first, I'm going to use some examples from an animated movie, because oftentimes animated movies have the most vibrant, intentional use of color. So in this case, the movie starts out and things are good, everything's pleasant, and the colors show that. Then, as things start to get a little bit more difficult for the characters, the color suggests that as well drain some of that saturation out. And then when things are real bad, it's almost completely gray. It's a very cool color, and it really sets the mood. And here you can see blue being used, but it's for a different reason entirely. And it's also offset with more dark shadows, and the blue itself is very illuminated, very vibrant. And in this shot here, the color palette has added a little extra nuance by offsetting the cool blues with some warm oranges. It gives it a nice focal point. And movies can be great because sometimes they'll use really exaggerated color schemes. Here you can see the footage is extremely overexposed. The sky is completely white. It's also extremely high contrast, and it just gives an overall sense of bleakness. But sometimes color is not exaggerated. This is a very mundane scene. It's got some natural window lighting, and the characters are pretty uniformly lit. Not a lot of shadows. So it's clear that there's a lot of variety in the color palettes used in movies. Well, what if you were to strip the content and the context out of these scenes, wipe those faces away, so all you were left with was a color palette? Those swatches then become way more useful for you as an illustrator, because then you're just left with that mood, the sense that the color gave you, and you don't have to get distracted by what the scene actually was. So let's do that with our screenshots, and there's two easy ways to do it in Photoshop. The first command is called mosaic. You'll find this in the filter menu under the pixelate category. And there's a few different settings, but essentially what you're doing is you are having Photoshop average the colors and sort of simplify the palette. And if for whatever reason you're not a huge fan of the way that mosaic looks, you can try one called stained glass. And this is a similar setting, except it gives you more irregular looking shapes. And the way you find this is in filter, texture, stained glass. As I've mentioned before, there's a lot of time and energy that goes into making movies. And so the final result is going to have very carefully considered color. And you can use that as a great shortcut for your own artwork. Once you strip the context out of the images, you're left with color palettes, plain and simple. And however you want to use them in your own images is completely up to you. So go through some of your screenshots from movies and turn them into color palettes. Have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.